We just recently learned about Anzac Day and its cookies. Uh, I mean biscuits. It falls on April 25th every year. So happy belated, people even say that. But what even is Anzac Day? No, not anthrax. Anzac stands for Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. And the holiday is in remembrance of those lost to war. It's a public holiday with strict rules for trading since it's considered a sacrosanct day. What does that mean, you may ask? It means too important to be interfered with. So on Anzac Day, shops are closed until one, closed altogether, or can only serve alcohol with food. So that means no buying alcohol and getting pissed. And not on Good Friday, Easter, or Christmas while you're at it. Open shops have to pay employees extra wages for working on a holiday, which is generously passed on to their customers via a surcharge. I lost the plot. I'm talking about the cookies. I mean the biscuits. The lore is that wives and women's groups would send them to troops overseas during World War I because the hearty ingredients wouldn't spoil easily during transit. Oats, flour, sugar, butter, and coconut. They're pretty crunchy, just like the kiwis, and honestly, I am obsessed. Also, don't you dare call them cookies in Australia, or else face a fine, or worse, be labeled an American. We were confused when we suddenly saw a lot of people wearing red flowers on their shirts and asking for donations outside grocery stores when it was nowhere near Christmas. You know, those dudes that harass you with the bells? But then we learned that red poppies are distinctly kiwi, and people wear and decorate their yards with them to honor those fallen. All we know is we saw lots of people barbecuing and enjoying the day off, so we hope you spent your April 25th well too.